The wind also knocked down trees all around the region from the North Hills to the South Hills. Crews with chainsaws cut up branches and trees that fell onto power lines. One tree fell across a road right in front of an SUV. Pam Serrano was there as crews worked to rescue the driver. She is live with that part of our team coverage. Pam. Susan, gusty as well as dangerous in many cases tonight. One driver very lucky to be alive after a harrowing accident. In fact, the wind made conditions tonight less tomorrow's big Thanksgiving holiday. Incredible footage of a huge tree that fell on top of an SUV on Bigelow Boulevard from the hillside above. Bigelow outbound from downtown towards Oakland was completely shut down for a while, while Pittsburgh Bureau of Police, Fire and EMS freed the driver from the smashed Ford Expedition. It looks pretty scary. I mean, the door's hanging off. Um, and I, I surely wouldn't want to be in it. WVU medical student Chris Ferrari is in town for Thanksgiving and has a lot to be thankful for. We considered ourselves pretty lucky because we're probably about 50 feet back there right now. So yeah, That's we're incredible. we're lucky to have avoided that that tragedy. The wind got the better of this huge tree on Mount Royal Boulevard in Shaler, cracking it at its base, blocking a driveway. Traffic lights bounced and bobbed at Saxonburg Boulevard and Route 910 in Dorseyville after gusts knocked out power, leaving the intersection dark. Even the portable traffic signs brought in while Duquesne Light worked to restore power struggled, and the signs and gates at Heinz Field were no match for the wind, coming off the choppy Allegheny across from the stadium. And in Hazelwood on West Elizabeth Street, the heavy winds brought down the awning and bricks on a home. And I was sitting in my living room watching TV, and I heard this bang. I thought it was coming from the alley until I come out and seen all the bricks just everywhere. The residents were able to stay inside after it was determined to be safe and no one was hurt. Now the driver of that car on Bigelow Boulevard suffered cuts to her face, but remarkably she is going to be okay. Now in terms of those power outages, here are some numbers for you. Duquesne Light is reporting about 2,000 customers without power and First Energy is reporting 5,000 customers without power. That's in an 11 county area and there is no timetable yet for when that power is going to be restored, something that is striking fear into the hearts of so many people who have to serve the biggest meal of the year tomorrow. Reporting live tonight, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.